very first thing you should do when you log into a new WordPress installation is go to the users area and add new. Make sure you make that user an admin. Then if you want to send the password by email you can and add that new user. Then immediately log out and back in as that new user. Once you verify that you are a full admin, go back to users and delete that admin user. It's just an insecure thing in WordPress these days to have something like that. Now to set it up correctly, go right to the plugins area and choose add new. Do a search for SEO automatic and the core tweaks plugin should come up near the top. Hit install and install now. At that point, most hosts will ask for your FTP information. You'll have to wait a few seconds. Then once you get this message, go ahead and activate the plugin. Immediately, you should see that you have a new menu item down here on the bottom left, and you can go directly to the core tweaks. Now, when you get here, you'll see that there are a lot of options that are uh, pre-checked by default, and they all should work just fine with the exception of your permalinks. Some hosts, and all hosts, are going to require that you do have a writable HD access file, but some hosts are either not going to have that uh, writable by default, or they're going to make you set it to uh, super writable, which is like 777. The best thing to do is go to your HD access file and set it to a full 777, and then you can go back and change it to 766. Um, something else that I like to do, uh, for anyone to be able to add po pictures to posts or pages, there has to be an uploads folder in your WP content folder. So if you make that writable as well, you can check that box and it does say that you have to have writable permissions on that folder. And you can also make that writable as well. Again, setting it to 777 ensures that it's going to work, but it's probably a good idea to go back in and change it to 766. Some of the other options that are not checked by default, I want to delete that hello world post, I want to delete that default comment. This particular one is going to be a, a static uh, site, so I'm not going to allow, I'm going to turn comments off universally. I don't need to add any users right now, but I do want to uh, set the home page as a static page, and I want it to be changed from about, I want that to be home, I want to be able to find it in the in, when I'm searching pages later. So I'm going to change the name of about to home, and I'm going to set that as the front page so that it won't uh, display all the latest blog posts. And I also want to create a page which where I am going to show my blog posts. And you know what? Just to keep this working, uh, I'm going to go here and I'm not going to delete that Hello World post. I'm going to change my blog description tagline so it doesn't say just another WordPress blog. I am going to delete all those blog roll links that come from WordPress. I know for a fact that there's no robots text file, so we're going to create one. And I'm not going to do any of the theme specific uh, changes because this I'm still using the default theme. This is a brand new install. I hit make the changes, and I see everything that was successful. And then right below that, I see what it was unable to complete. And the reason uh, the reason that it was unable to complete these are because it was already run here once. For example, I already have the robots file. I already changed that page name. There's already an uploads folder. And the other things were taken care of as well. Uh, and they were done manually. Anything that doesn't take place should be easy to understand. And if you don't understand anything, feel free to report it. If you love this plugin, I would encourage you to please donate to my programmer, Heather. She's getting married in June of 2010. And she would sure appreciate it. 100% of those proceeds go directly to Heather. Thanks for watching. Now go save some time.